So I'm running up on you. This is a scenario. I run up here, right? Hit me in the arm with you with the with the pull arm. Oh, you hit me. It's gonna be a little harder. Like that. Yeah, you gotta swing. Uh, oh, so I drop what's in that hand and I put that behind my back. It's chopped off. So now I have to fight one-handed. And now if you chop my other arm off, well, why would I do that? Because I'm coming at you with a weapon, you should chop the other arm off. Yeah, you, you got to hit. Yeah, you got no, you can't. So that's an illegal strike. You can't butter knife me. <laughs> you can walk clean. You can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm but, butter knifing me is not going to, <laughs> not cutting, going to chop my arm I'm off. Cutting your arm off. No, you, you have to strike it. I get to slash. It's a slashing weapon. Yeah. Oh, so now I'm dead because I, I got struck. I got two arms slashed off and I'm bleeding out. <laughs> so I scream. I'm like, ah! And I fall to the ground. Right? I'm not falling to the ground. Right. Well, <laughs> if you're a real role player, you fall to the ground yeah, and scream. Yeah, I'm like, ah, I died. I don't want to have this real role player, ah. fake role player conversation right, right now. Right, right, right. But Saint, what I'm saying is that that's what happens. St. Cuthbert protects me. He keeps me from falling okay. down. Now, so I'm coming at you, and you strike me in the leg. So I'm gonna chop my leg off. So I now go to a knee, and that it ha ha hampers my mobility, and basically is like I'm, I'm wounded in the leg, and I have to on the ground, and I have this other leg that I can like move around on, and it can kind of carry me. But that's the idea, is that once you get in the leg, you lose that mobility. Once you get in the arm, you lose the ability to, to use that arm and to carry anything. Thank you. So, so basically, when you're fighting, when you get a real sword. So I feel like if I just cut off one of your legs, yes, and you were on the ground, I would then with a pole arm, I would just walk away and go do that to somebody else. Right. That's a tactic called leg them and leave them. You oh, leg okay. them, oh, yeah. and then you leave them yeah. to right. sit on the ground yeah. on your like to all the girls. You just leg them and leave them. That's, that's right. what I would. That's what I, I was thinking. It's a valid tactic. Right. There's a lot of good valid tactics that uh, we use at dagger and foam fighting. Um, one is wolf packing, which is you get four or five guys and you take on one guy, like you have a great weapon. So you're dangerous to shieldmen like me because you can break the shield. But we also didn't talk about that. So so hit me on the shield, pretty hard. They yeah, yeah, did two-handed. That was hard enough. Right, so I uh, so, hey, hit it again. Because it, it takes two solid strikes to break the shield. Now it's broken, I can't use it. If uh, I'm still running around and you hit that shield a third time, that goes to my arm, because that shield's not there anymore. So if I have a big tower shield and I'm waving my a, tower shield around and it's broken you and you hit the really edge of it, target. yeah. Okay, that's what I was right because it's it's for playability reasons. Okay, remember safety, playability, realism. Like twelve ounce weapons and like eight ounce shields, not really real, but it's very playable and it's very safe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like us, subscribe.